What is up good and gentle people, Birdimus here. All right, this is day three. But I'm gonna mess with your brain because this is actually a day two video. So I was watching a day two video and I'm editing it right now and I just had to stop because <laughs> I look like somebody who's been traveling for three days. Like my face is all swollen for some reason. I think it was airport food. So I'm just gonna give you like a, a kind of rough summary of what was going on. So basically, first night out, I took uh, what's called a Grab Taxi. So it's, it's basically like the Uber of, um, of Bangkok. Really, really convenient. You use the app, you know, it shows you how much the fare is estimated so you don't have to haggle with a driver. The app shows, you know, like when the car is coming close, pull me hop in the car and you go to your destination. So what I did was I went to Khao San Road, which is a famous backpacker, like paradise. I'm just getting drunk and wilding out. And I went there because I was interested in seeing if I wanted to use it for my video. I wasn't going there to party because, you know, I've been, at the time, I'd been traveling for three days straight. I wasn't trying to like get wasted, um, especially when I look like a cantaloupe. Uh, <laughs> so I was just like walking around, kind of musing about life and kind of reasserting myself with Asia. Then I ended up going to this club with a guy, and I'm going to show you this in the video because at this point in the night, for some reason, my face started to look normal. So we can continue from there. Yo, I wish you on go, Bangkok. On the way back home now, and Bangkok has a lot of traffic, even at two in the morning. <laughs> so much traffic on the road. Uh, Cause obviously normally in Kingston, we don't have that much traffic, but look, there are three lanes of traffic. Not three, four. Four lanes of traffic. Thank you, sir. Uh -huh. Four lanes of traffic. All mostly taxis. Yeah. So. Bangkok adventure continues. Yo, that taxi was mad shady. <laughs> I'm not even sure if that was the official taxi I called. By the way, walking back to the house right now, and um, yo, this air I mean is crawling with lady boys. So I wasn't trying to open my camera back there, you know, I didn't want to make anybody feel uncomfortable, you know what I'm saying? Alright, so that's it for episode one. Supposedly, this comes on the internet. Good night, Bangkok. Back in the ends. Cabo. Yo, what's up? So, um, I came back home and I just randomly messaged somebody online and then they told me that they're nearby at the club. It's somebody I linked up on Facebook. A cool looking dude. Um, he looks like he's in the scene, like a DJ or whatever. Tell me to link up. Where I'm staying is really central, so it's like a 10 minute walk for me. So, I feel like I'm gonna go there and, I mean, you don't know it's a club, so why not walk in like a star? Go here to do the thing, it's really cool. Exit. Yeah man, so this is how it is, you know, when you... This happens to me in Jamaica, in New York, anywhere I go, right? But the main thing is that when you're trying to do something, you have to be prepared to move, right? So I went to Carl Center earlier just to kind of get a vibe. But when I came home, I messaged this guy who said, yo, come link about this club. I'm like, all right, here's the thing is, time is important right now, so... I don't know what this club is. I don't know what kind of club it is. But he seems like a cool dude. And he's in the entertainment life, isn't he? So let's go on to the thing and I see what happens man. Yo, you only got one of these lives, right? Apparently, so I'll keep it moving. Whoops! So fuck you! So fuck me! Oh, we gonna get fucked up right now, that's what's up, y'all. Yeah, listen up. It's ladies' night, but we gonna do something for the ladies, right? We gonna do something for Oh, 
All right, so that was really random. So I ended up at the top hip hop club in Bangkok called Club Sugar with a dude I met on Facebook. Walked in Dolo, you know what I mean? Um, it was closing in half an hour, so I just got like a little piece of it, but yo, Bangkok has vibes. I didn't really want to whip out the camera and start shooting because I had it in my back pocket, but I took some footage with my phone. Peep it. Somebody had linked up on Facebook. I know they're at a club. So they want to link me up at the club, so I'm going to go to the club and see if I can network and meet somebody that can help me, you know, do the thing in the mix. <laughs> And yo, that's what a nice progressing. So tomorrow I'm probably gonna go to this club with they said the top they said the top DJ in Bangkok. Or the top DJs top DJs in Bangkok will be playing there tomorrow night. So I'm gonna try and link them, try and get them my track Bangkok. I can easily see how Bangkok could take over the clubs here. But you know, I'm in the club not thinking like, oh, look at all these girls, you know, I'm thinking, wow, I need these DJs playing my track, I need things happening, you know, so I'm thinking, that's my mode right now. I mean, I've been in these situations before in Asia, like tons of clubs, you know, girls and partying and music, but right now it's the mission. Yo, I wish you wanna go, Bangkok, 